Hello, this is Deep Cell Null Security. Do you have a reason to be on this property today? Sir, in the brown jacket, drop the package. Your image is being recorded and the police have been notified. Hey, what's up guys? Kevin the Tech Ninja. And today I'm talking about a security system like one I have never covered before. This is Deep Sentinel Smart Home Security System. This is an all-in-one monitoring solution it uses cameras, predictive AI, and real-time human intervention. The Deep Sentinel system has quite a few things with it and a couple things that I've never seen before. So I had it installed for a couple of days and let's dig into the things that I found and things that are interesting in some of the features built into the application. So this video is sponsored by Deep Sentinel, but this does not affect my opinion of the product. It's just sent to me and I wanted to get it installed and just use it and kind of give you my opinion of what I've seen. Inside my box, I had three cameras and a hub. So their cameras do feature 1080p resolution, a 130 degree field of view, and night vision that can see as far as 35 feet. There are no wires and the single screw mounting system makes setup really easy to do if you plan to mount it. The battery lasts up to two months and that depends on usage. So obviously if you have more alerts coming in, you won't get two months, but if you have less alerts coming in, then you will see two months. But the good thing is switching out batteries is a very simple process. The back just screws off and you slide the battery in and you screw the back back on. And it takes about five seconds to do. The camera gives you everything you need to monitor your home but what really stands out is the intelligent hub. Now footage is recorded locally on the intelligent hub and you have 64 gigabytes of storage. And the AI only records when it's necessary and that eliminates useless footage and it allows you to have up to six months of storage. You can set up motion events notification right in the app and Deep Sentinel only notifies you when something actually occurs of substance. So you won't get phantom notifications that you may get today with your security system where you get a pop-up on your phone and then you click on the pop-up and you see nothing happening. With Deep Sentinel, they do their best to remove that from the actual app. And I did find with the AI system that it's either adaptive or it's learning because uh, the very first day I was getting sort of those phantom notifications, but the next day I received about one and then the following day after that, I didn't get any at all. So I'm not sure if the AI is recognizing that that is a non-prudent event and it just doesn't tell you about the motion that it sees because it was something simple like a leaf going through my yard. Now when actual motion is detected, the video is streamed to the hub and it's recorded. The hub has a Snapdragon 820 processor and that analyzes the video in real time. And from there, it distinguishes between suspicious and normal activity. So an example I can give, I had someone bring food to my house, it recorded the activity, a agent monitored the activity, I can tell right in the app, and nothing occurred. However, I did have someone that the camera didn't recognize, myself in disguise, actually take a package off my porch. The camera woke up, it flashed red, and there was a person on the other end yelling at me to stop and put the package back. Sir, in the brown jacket, drop the package. Your image is being recorded and the police have been notified. Deep Sentinel system identifies threats in less than 10 seconds and it allows the 24 seven live Sentinel guards to intervene when necessary. Deep Sentinel does focus on this proactive approach to securing your home. So like a lot of systems you may see right now are reactive, like your door gets kicked in or window gets smashed, then the alarm goes off. Deep Sentinel starts to monitor as soon as it sees an interaction and hopes to prevent that from happening. There's never such thing as a room or a house that you can't break into, but you wanna find the one with the least resistance. You wanna find the one with the light off or the one without a security system yelling at you. Deep Sentinel has real human eyes monitoring your property 24 seven that can diffuse the situations before they escalate. So essentially it's like having your own guards around your house, real people not machines pushing notifications to your phone. Now, once the AI detects a legitimate threat, the cameras do light up with a strobing red ring, as I mentioned before, and that signals that the video is recording. And even that red ring is enough to grab someone's attention. I mean, it is a red light flashing at you, and that could be a bit overwhelming for someone who's up to no good. Now, at this point, an agent is actually watching every step of the situation, and they have to make a split second decision to intervene or not. If intervention is required, agents can pop on the line and talk to a person. They can sound a 104 decibel alarm and they can contact law enforcement to report a crime in progress if necessary. Now, because these live Sentinel agents are actually watching this crime in progress happen and they report the crime, 
it is seen as a high priority with most police departments. Meaning you'll get the fastest reaction from the police department and they won't just send out a detective to figure out what happened. They're actually sending out real police officers to figure out what's going on as it's currently occurring as it's a live crime scene. You know, traditionally you go to the store, you buy your camera set up, you put your cameras up and you know, you pay for cloud storage and then you get notifications to your phone and you click it and if something's happening, you can then yell on the phone or you can sound an alarm. But if someone's doing it for you, because let's say you're on a flight, let's say you're on vacation, let's say you're at work and you know, your, your phone can't notify you. You want something there or someone there to prevent this from happening. Look, it, it may not be for everyone. You know, maybe the, the eye on the other side of the camera is something that you're not comfortable with and that is extremely understandable. But for someone that wants the best security and want to protect their family in the best way possible, I mean, what is better than having someone watch your doors for you? These cameras are made to be outside protecting your house, protecting your stuff. And for a lot of people, there is value in that. These are high quality cameras with extremely loud sirens and it uses AI to analyze video frame by frame. Also, just a peace of mind of 24 seven monitoring. Now, I haven't used it a ton. I will admit I haven't had any uh, real interactions at my house, someone breaking in my window and I, I hope not. But having something like this, I know that it can be prevented the best as humanly possible. Obviously, a person can still run up to a house and kick it in. But as always, if you have someone yelling at the person doing it on camera and sounding alarms, is that person still gonna kick in your door? Is that person still gonna throw a brick through your window? I mean, those are things that you need to think about rather than getting a notification, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, clicking it and that interaction has already occurred. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this video as this seemed like something completely innovative, something completely different that I haven't seen before. And a uh, big shout out to Deep Sentinel for trying something new. And I'm excited to see how it progresses over time. But if this is something that you're into, if you want that extra layer of security, you want something to actively protect your house, this is a great option. And so far my experiences, it's been really good. And during my testing, the agents have been very fast to pop on the line and to see what happens. Anyways, guys, those were my thoughts. Make sure you hit the link down below for updated pricing and where to buy it. Anyways, guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja, have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.